What's up, Flunky Force? It's Game Flunky. We're coming back to part two, the playthrough for Firewatch. I'm, I, I'm almost, I, I almost fucked that up. And I just said I kind of, whatever. Anyway, so last we left off, we found out someone broke into the, um, God, what do they call this? The, not the lighthouse. The Firewatch. No, what is it? Um, my station. My station. Somebody broke into my station. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get into that. We are on day two. I don't know where, because when I left it off for you guys, the game was still going. I was, like, doing my, like, you know, last minute exit out. So I kind of don't know where it's going to start us out at. If if it doesn't start us out where I need it to start, I'll kind of get you guys caught up, basically, is what I'm saying. So hopefully there's not an issue. But if there is... Go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Well, we'll find out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Okay. Um... Oh, uh, shit, I forgot it. Oh, whatever, don't matter. Alright. Uh, okay, what was I doing? What was I doing? I gotta remember how to do this. Oh, uh, shoot. I can't remember shit. I haven't played, I've been working on other stuff, so I was like, bruh. Anyway, you play, when you play a game like Hyper Life Drifter, and then you switch over to Firewatch, your brain, you just can't do it. It's just too complicated. It's too fucking complicated. Wow. Huh. My eyes are, oh, I can read that. Blue spruce, cottonwood. Huh. I really will do attention to detail in this game. Alright, so, oh, that's right, the towers are down. I have to go find the survey wires. You can see where somebody broke in or anything. But we gotta find out what's going on so she can contact the uh, police or the park rangers to go out and look for this guy that uh, broke into my shit. Alright, so yeah, there we go. Uh, if you remember in the last video, we passed by a cave, or we came through a cave to get over here to get back to where we were at. That is what we're gonna take to go find the wires. Alright, so. If I remember correctly, I think the cave was back that way, but I don't know if I can go down that trail. Because the trail is so steep, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Alright, survey the communication lines north of the canyon. So, hmm, if I remember correctly. Alright, so, that's where I was at. That's where we gotta go, the cave. See, the if you remember, the cave was to go up north. So we're gonna go toward Cache 302. Yeah, there we go. You know, you wouldn't think it, but the map isn't... This place, you look at the map, you think it's large. It's not really. If you look, if I move... Yeah, see how fast I moved? Now I'm already, like, partway past the lookout. Alright, so I'm heading... Uh, whoa, sorry. I'm heading away north. North, north, uh, behind me. Alright, so I'm going... This way is where I'm going. Huh. It was weird. It's like I. This is one thing I hate about audio sound effects. It's like, oh no. Uh, let me go ahead and turn that just a little bit, just a smidge, and there you go. One thing about um, think about audio and sound effects. It's uh, when you're recording. It's kind of like you have to play the guessing game. All right. So that's the. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. That's. I remember now. I remember now. Yep. There we go. Alright, so I'm heading north. Alright, let's go ahead. Yeah, kicking booty. Alright. Of course. Oh man, I hope they didn't pop up on the screen. That would suck. Technology is beautiful. Alright, what's up? Where are we going? Where are we going? Wait, hold on, what's over here? The one thing about this game, and I kind of understand why it doesn't have too much of that, but it's not very much far as, ex, ex, um, I would say, ex, well, yeah, not very much far as exploration. It's kind of like a linear path, but because it's like a thriller, you know, like it wants you to go a certain way, you kind of not, you're not really aware of it, is what I'm saying, so that's pretty cool. If you don't know, Henry and his wife, Julia, well, were together at one point. Uh, Julia suffered from dementia. She went off with her parents back to Australia. And Henry, I think, if I remember correctly, Henry wanted to save up the money to go there. So he took on a job for the summer in Wyoming to be a park ranger. I'm going to call him park ranger. I don't know what else you call somebody that helps out in a giant park. That's not a power ranger. I don't know. I'm not one to judge. But, yeah. Oh, shit. That, that would broke my legs. Alright, so, so, if I remember correctly, the, I think the cave's over here somewhere, if I remember it right. Alright. 
Boom. That's a rock. That's a rock. That's a rock. I think I'm right. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm there. I'm there. All right, cool. All right, you can put that away now. There you go. So. Yeah, no, I'm a lot of fun with this game. I actually really was misplaying this. I really like this kind of games, even though there's not much to it besides the thrill of it and trying to figure out stuff. So, I really do have a great time with this. This and Hyper Life Drifter. But you know what I like about this? It doesn't make me mad. It's Hyper Life Drifter. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, boring if you don't ski. We used to go to this bar called the Dollar, though. I love that place. Oh, wait, is that down on Pearl? They have all the money pinned to the ceiling? Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> I love that bar. Why don't you go anymore? I took this job. Oh, <laughs> duh. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure, just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. Uh, hey, your no, button I don't is think still he has down. Any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, if there's anyone or anything you want to talk about, fire away. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. She's in a wig? She left it put! Whatever. Put my mom. Alright. She's annoyed, but she. She stepped. She. I, I tried to call out. I mean, I should call out twice. I don't know. Maybe she got pissed about it. Whatever. Alright. So, are we on the right path now? We're going north, so huh, going that way. Simple enough. All right. Oh yeah. Huh. All right, but now seriously, I don't know why she got mad. She's the one who pressed the thing down. Oh shit. More fog. I just do not like that. Somebody breaks it to my shit and then fog just settles in? Nah. That ain't a fucking coin kid, ink. Man, this is just. This is how white people die in movies. Like, we all just steadily just follow this cool trail that gets us all killed. And what was that? What was that? I don't know. Let's go back and go towards the door with the giant banging sound, like every single movie. Every single movie. The killer could be out there. No, it's crazy. Why would he be out there? It's just a loud banging sound against the door. That's just cray cray. Like, really? It's like, seriously, fam? This is why we died. How we made it past sticks and rocks and, like, fire and torches is beyond my understanding. Hey, what's that? Huh. A nice cut. Huh. What's it say? Okay, so bear tooth pit part. Oh, thoroughfare. Oh, thoroughfare. Like that. Okay, cool. Like Surrey, north of the canyon. Sit, uh, spot drop. No point. Okay, cool. I need. Huh? I thought I saw a cachet box around here somewhere. Like, oh. Huh? I don't think I see. What was this?
Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's uh. not damaged, you can loop around back home. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. Well, follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. All right, cool. That was simple enough. Hmm. All right, where are we going? All right. Huh. You know, it's really weird. I haven't seen a single animal, like besides like the butterflies and the birds. The place should be like littered with bears and shit, and I do, I do not. See a single bear. Yeah, which I'm not complaining, by all means. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just saying, you would think it would add something like that. You know what, it might be part of the thrill, though. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. That's true. I see seeing these, like... People freaking out, which is by means like, oh, what was that? Okay, what was that? That might have been the utility wire thing again. Oh, that's fine. All right, so, huh? What's this? All right. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. The same as before. Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Hey, maybe there's two girls. I, I'd be, I mean, it'd be kind of weird. Because in the previous episode, we found out that there were two girls, like, just having a good time, but they were drinking and, like, shooting off fireworks. But the fireworks obviously were the issue. Oh, shit, yeah, it is... Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Uh, yeah. Ah. I'm gonna go to hell. I see that, but like. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. <laughs> That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. <laughs> oh, let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. <laughs> for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. Hmm. 
doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Yeah, and the trail of beer cans is like a dead freaking giveaway. I'm like, for real? These girls, oh my god. I, I, I like to know how they, where they're putting all this beer at. They are drinking enough to put me on my ass. What the fuck? Yeah, because you look. Huh. Let me see. Hmm. I don't know, because if you think about it, the cans, were the cans going this way? Well, you know, let's check up here first, because by all means, the more than likely kind of, come on guys, where was he hide? Huh. Like, I don't want to drop down and have to walk all the way back if I know that I went the wrong way. That would piss me off. So I'm thinking, alright, so, well, if the cans are over here, but what the fuck? Hold on. There's a can there. How I many girls are probably, it, they're dying of cirrhosis, is basically what I'm saying. Their liver is shot. But when I saw them with the shadows, they looked pretty small, so it's not like, I'm telling you right now, they are drunk as fuck. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's go this way. I'm just, you know what, just be safe. Alright, cool. She said loop back around, so... There's no way in hell. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. <laughs> Alright, so... Alright, so definitely, it seems like the game's pushing me this way, so I guess I'll go this way. Alright. The curious thing is... I don't see any more beer cans, but I'm going to go with my hunch and just say, boom, this is where I'm supposed to go. Alright, let's do this. And, boom. Okay, cool, what we got? Two miles to the Forks Lookout. I mean, I'm trying to think, I mean, come on, they have to be back this way. This just wouldn't make sense to go the other way. Man, I'll tell you, it's gonna. Wait, what's that? There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Okay. What's it say? Good one. Camera. That's ooh, repelling rope. Nice. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left. Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Is Ned that guy from the note I told you about? About the guy leaving his post? Oh, uh, could be, yeah. But I think at one point they just realized this job wasn't for them. For Brian, at least. Huh. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, <laughs> I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Alright. I'm saying, man, this game just... Oh yeah, one... 
two, four. Oh my, I don't even know. Oh, here we go. Copy information. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. Or maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. Hmm. Maybe they went to Jonesy Lake. I mean, that makes sense. They, they, they got a thing for lakes. Let's go find this out. You literally have some point me in this direction and it goes, nope. Alright, what we got? Right, we're over here. Hmm. Hey. Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but... <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. Wait, I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? My Aunt Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades. And when he died, she found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker. For 15 years. Whereas my Aunt Judy traveled the world dating artists and musicians as she saw fit. I'm actually married. But you're here. She's sick. And I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. She's not a bad person. But I felt like if I lied to her, it would come out to bite me in the ass, and that's... Yeah, in this game, in the middle of nowhere, nah, don't need more ass biting. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. Hold on, I'm trying to... I actually don't even know how to... Hold up. Did I leave it back there? Yo, did I leave that daggone camera back there for real? I, is there any even a way to wait? Yeah, maybe there is. Yeah, look, I can crawl right back up there. Of course, this is gonna like take ten forever. Oh, you know what it could be? Hold on a second. Let me just for shits and giggles. Let me move this around. Nope. I thought maybe the corner of my game would tell me. I thought I was blocking it with my um, header there on the right side. I was like, am I blocking the thing I'm supposed to tell me about the button? Anyway, let's do this. Uh. 
Oh, you know what? I know where I messed up. I guarantee I have to put the compass away for it to work. Oh, I'm an idiot. Damn. Alright, let's check that out real quick before I do this. Dude, I'm such a turd monkey. Go back down, because John's just at a Jesus moment. Alright, let's get snazzalacking. Yeah, I could play this game for hours. I really could. Like, I really just... This game is fun as shit. Alright, let's do this. It actually ain't a half bad job to have if, you're, if you love to be out in nature. That's one thing. But what the hell is a fence doing out here? That's crazy. A couple pictures, hopefully, that'll be of some use. Hmm. Alright. I mean, I don't see any way to get in. Unless, you know what? I might have to find an overlying rock. Something like overlaps the uh, fence. So I can just hop off that into the fence, though. But yeah, who put a fence out here? What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? We were scared shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her and we were both just very scared. You can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. Alright, so... From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. You're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in a fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there, as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Maybe, but I don't, like, alright? Wait, no, never mind. getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what? You like that? This guy is the freaking king of the flapjacks. Yeah, that's solid. I'll have to keep that one in my pocket. It's all yours. Someone, can, someone in the comments please tell me what the hell a flapjack is, though. Nate, I, I don't know. No, this, this game... The back dates, well, not the game itself, but the game's backdrops back way before my time, so I don't know if I, <clears throat> if I missed something there. Okay, wait, hold on. Nope, I guess I'm just past it. I guess I'm about to go. I can't get to the fence, so I'm about to go around then. Uh, if I had a guess, I would have to go. Oh no. Point. I don't know. It's weird. Alright, let's go around. Wait, what's this? Did your wife's illness have anything to do with you taking this job, or did you just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? Actually, I went looking for the job. I just 
Wanted to get out of town for a while. Well, you've come to the right place. Thanks to last summer, we got a bump in Forest Service budget and can actually afford to have you. What happened last summer that accounted for this, um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is, like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. Wow. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. Damn. I and mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? <laughs> so what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. Damn. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it, but we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. I'm back at Jonesy Lake. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going the right so, way. how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Do you see anything from yours, like... You know, the clues as to where they could be. Ah, <laughs> clues. I really like your enthusiasm for mystery. I'm just doing my job. I like it. I, I do. I just, I, I can't wait for you to give these girls a piece of your, our, mind, minds, collective. But no, no clues. I, I can't see anything from here. I don't even, like, I, I don't, I don't know where I should go now. I'm kind of lost. We obviously can't get through the fence. Yo, we might be able to. I don't know. I'll, I'll double back and check the fence real quick. Can't promise anything, but worth a shot. I don't know. I, I mean, granted, they might do. They might walk in there, but I don't see what would stop them. I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't do it. Like jump into the, huh? Jump over the fence. See what I mean? Like if I could be able to climb. Wait, hold on. What was that? Right, I swear I did. Damn it. Do 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 do. See what else is over here. Hmm. I don't know. Oh wait, what's this? Nope, I thought that was it. I thought it would be something I could climb up on. Alright. Anything over here? Oh, there's a clearing. Oh, looks a clearing. Oh, shit. Alright. No. Nothing over here.
Yeah, I got nothing. Damn it. Alright, maybe they went down the canyon then. I guess that's the only other option I have left to go down the canyon. Or get stuck on a bunch of trees. That, 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 that'll work. Oh, wait a minute. What's this over here? Oh, nothing. Damn. Thought it was something. I was like, yay, final spot. No. The game's like, no, good luck with that, bro. I'm gonna double back over here. What are you gonna do when the fire season wraps up? Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I, uh, think they always thought she could do better. And that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. Alright, where's this... Where was this take us? This is... Keep with five two. All right, I'm gonna do the canyon path one. I'm just gonna do the canyon path because I'm just like I'm, I'm thinking like why wouldn't I do the canyon path? Well, that makes the you know, most amount of sense to me. But whatever, I do what I want. <laughs> makes more sense than Rob Kardashian right now, at least. Poor bastard. Uh -huh. All right, let's do this. Okay. Alright, so what we're going to do now is take the canyon path. That's the only option I have. I mean, if I go the other way, I'm going to loop right back into where I started from. Maybe this way. I don't know. And down we go. top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. I mean, why would they come this way? I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty clear off the reservation here, so I don't know. Two forks, fire, and... Wait, am I that close back to base? Hmm. I don't know, I'm trying to think where I should go next.
see that? Yeah, I think so. That thin plume of smoke? Yeah. Looks like it's way down to the southwest. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Alright, smoke plume southwest. Let me see. So, that way. Alright, we'll see what this way. Alright. I mean, I mean, unless I was going to edit out a whole bunch of time, but if we're going the right way, then let's go. Okay, so. Oh, let's wait. Where's the repelling line? Oh. Oh, it's back that way. I see where it's at. I'm trying to think. I think it's up this way. There we go. Okay, I have eyes on that smoke plume. Great. Find your way over there and give them hell. I pretty much went full circle right where I stood. Really? I'm gonna head down to the lake and have a look around. That's the last place I saw them. Roger. Alright, time to check out the smoke plume. I think I'm going the right way, southwest, uh, this way. I think. Ooh, another box. Nice. Oh, we got a pine cone. Is it pine cone? Pine cone? That's really. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and 
Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? All right, it's time to find a smoke plume, and it's kind of interesting how the story's unfolding. It, it really, it's like that kind of like backdrop of mysteriousness and like sort of intrigue because you don't know what's going on. All right, let's so it's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. That's weird, though. It's almost like somebody's leading us on, which it's even more terrifying, but... I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? Yeah, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear, or, um, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Oh, they're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? Don't be ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. I've known you, what, 24 hours? Maybe, maybe you're nuts. God, look, I just came out here to sit in a tower, all right? Not get into some mess with a bunch of co-eds. It's fine. They're, they're gone? Yeah, they're gone. But you should see this place. It's just, it's weird weird stuff happens in the woods it could be other campers they could be having a bad mushroom trip we really don't know but they're gone there's no way to call the cops they're not coming back and we can get to work i'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer yeah me too dear psycho or not damn i want to read a fucking letter shit i should have read it when i had a chance sorry guys that kind of like that's kind of like a hiccup on my part, because I wanted like I wanted to hear what they're gonna say the dialogue between Henry and Delilah, but that's what I get. Really, you you gonna just nail up? Just really fine boards. Hey Henry. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial.
Do you know Raleigh Fingers? He pitched for the A's? No. I'm the spitting image of him. Oh, wait, is he the guy with the snidely whiplash thing going on from, from the 70s? Ooh, my dad loved him. Yeah, that's him. That mustache. Mm. Now you have my attention. Okay. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, <laughs> by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Tuxedos, as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. <laughs> mm, good to know, Dale, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... <laughs> A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? Uh. Don't <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. Well, speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. All right, I'm gonna finish up a little bit, and then we'll call it a day. I just want to get ahead. I want to find out where this next part's taking us, because I'm kind of really just curious. Okay, here we go. Bro, damn, he is a strong motherfucker. Just like, doink, one nail, doink, one nail. I'm like, dude, who the hell had nails that hard? Oh my god, what are you, Hercules? Or are you Hercules? Sorry, Disney reference. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? You call that a patch. Oh, What's right. next? What do you think is next? Well, what? You've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. What the fuck, day nine? Shit. Okay. That, that was a. Alright, there, my guys. We got past day three. That was fast. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. Oh, fuck. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... 
I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. I really can't blow it. Fuck. The hell. The, the name of Narnia, what is happening here? Henry? Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Yeah, it's good here. It's beautiful, you know. <sighs> That's great, Henry. Really great. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Oh, so they can call in and stuff. Yo, I'm so glad I didn't just, like... I'm like, I I'm sorry. I know I should stop playing. I just can't help myself. Just really? Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? You ass. Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Ha! Huh. Alright, guys. I'm gonna call it a day. Go ahead and edit this video and get out of here. Y'all have a nice night, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, this... like, Never mind. two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? We were sleeping. Oh guess, shit. And oh shit. Oh shit. All I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. I'm glad. I hope so. I don't know. He's talking to himself. Uh, before I took this job, I <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. Oh, damn. He was a driller down in Casper. Mm, driller too, shit. Did for almost five years. Oh shit. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly, and I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor so I lied to you I came out here with a broken heart just like you uh, I figured you've told me so much about you so you know there's something about me we both fucked up all right we're good we're good I'm not I'm not complaining I'm just you know anyway guys hope you enjoy it I'll see you next time this is game flunky signing off